Thank you. Om Kara Bindu Samyuktam Nityam Gayandi Yoginaha Kamadam Mochadam Jaiva Om Kara Yanamo Nama Namaste 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 Friends Take a comfortable position You may do two or three times alternate your nostril breathing so that Become more aware here and now. Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama we call. Left to right, right to left, comfortable level. So, dear friends, last session we talked about Kriya Yoga, right? Tabas Swadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani. What is Tabas? That is power of will. What is Swadhyaya? That is Jnana Yoga, power of analysis, then power of emotion, Ishwara Pranidhanani. A combination. Practicing that is Kriya Yoga, is what we have discussed. And why? <clears throat> this is not just reading. I don't know how many of you are observing and practicing here. It is not just like going to gym. Every moment we should think of that discipline, self discipline in all aspects. So then only growth can happen. Someone was asking, theory only is there, where is the practice? Practice doesn't mean only doing, <laughs> fighting or going to gym, this, that. Implementing what you have learned. Apply that in day-to-day -day life, wherever possible. Then we meditated with Nirvana Shataka. So what Nirvana Shataka says, or Atma Shataka also it is called, I am not this, I am not this. Mano buddhya hankara chitta ninaham. I am not this, I am not this, I am not this, I am not this. Nothing, 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 nothing. Because God cannot be described. The real nature cannot be. That which cannot be described is that. That is called Brahman or our true nature, bliss, pure. So, Om, I said you can practice anything unless you practice for minimum 21 days. You may not know the effect of it. So your subconscious programming happens. Om, Om. He said, apart from this, sometime, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time possible, before lunch, before sleeping, as soon as you get up, just chanting Omkara and sit and see. I don't know how many of you have practiced that. Practice, practice, practice. Everything implement. Then you see what happens. Then only you know the result. And in the ultimately, you are just watching the breath. You are coming to Anapanasat, doing nothing. Like that, you practice and see and choose a specific place for yourself for meditation. Not anywhere and everywhere. Going outside, nature, it's okay. In the house, when you are doing, keep a specific, keep it pure and clean. And whenever you sit there, you see the difference. That vibration will be there. The vibration will never go because sound travels in circles. Vasishta Guha, all you have heard. Guha, why it is still there, that effect? Because that effect will be there. And use a pure new carpet to sit, not on the cold floor and all that. Make yourself comfortable. Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, use a sit in an elevated position and use kusha grass and all that. Of course, now we are not in forest. We are in the comfort of home. You can make yourself comfortable. Use only for that, not the sleeping blankets for sitting. And need not be in the puja room. 
of course if the pujaram is wide enough big enough and you have main them then it's fine but otherwise yes and you see what happens implement so all this for what to thin down the clashes the difficulties obstacles and to expand our consciousness to reach that samadhi state <clears throat> now i just remember a small story told by none other than swami vivekananda we all know indra indra is the king of gods devaloka swargaloka what you talk about enjoying the earth so one day what happened was uh, this indra became a pig and he was enjoying as a pig with his wife pig and so many piglings so many children he was happy happy and was just enjoying that soul why anything else is needed then the all other gods in devaloka they came and asked this what is this indra you are the king of gods and you are living like a pig is it all life he said never mind i am happy here i am happy my wife is there my children are here i am enjoying that's all what more i want i don't need anything else then the gods thought oh he is the king of gods see the pitiable situation he is he has created himself then what they thought they started killing all the piglings one by one one by one and every one except him all were killed slaughtered then indra started crying whining weeping and moaning oh, what is this then other gods what they did see his pitiable condition they rip open his body of the pig then indra came out laughing oh what a dream i had <laughs> he realized is a dream and not only that i am king of gods and i wanted all others also to live like a pig no it's not real life this is not my real nature i have identified with the matter instead of my true nature forgetting my pure infinite all pervading nature atman so why i told this story i am sure most of you would have got the message 300 plus people have joined whatsapp group today i am seeing 56 as of now at 6 maybe less than 20 30 so who has joined i am not talking about who has not joined this group at all at least those who have joined so as per the karma they are there for spiritual path and those who have joined who are not here so maybe one day two day little bit sense pleasures little heard hearing like that what happened going back cooling down and happy with the big life this is what is today's world unfortunately the sense pressure little little things we think and that's all everything nothing more is needed for me it's enough and live a pig's life is it a real life so it is not that go to become a hermit no that's why buddha says or krishna says yukta hara vihara the middle path what we talk about everything yes properly then you see the difference but if you don't do anything and if you are contented with fix life then nobody can lift up so what are the obstacles here so for all this let's see what the padanjali says avidya asmida raga dvesha abhinivesha ha these are the obstacles to enlighten obstacles not allowing us to reach who we are you can put the slide ravali uh, man avidya asmida raga dvesha abhinivesha ha this five what is the first one avidya yes before that what is the first one samadhi bhavanartha klesha tanukaranarthas cha yoga helps to minimize the obstacles and attain samadhi that's what i've been telling so what are the obstacles avidya asmida raga dvesha abhinivesha so what is avidya is the root cause this is the fundamental reason for 
lack of our growth, putting us down. Ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. This is the number one cause of all our sufferings. So ignorance means what? Forgetting our true nature, who we are really. See, which creates all other obstacles and wrong knowledge. That is what we learned as Vibaryaya. Notions, different. So, like a drunkard, like a schizophrenic, drug addict, we think this is all we are. We are stuck. See, the Shankaras, I think I talked about this earlier, Raju, Sarpa, Bhranti, thinking snake in the rope, but the real is rope, but you are afraid. Seeing Sarpa in the Raju. So like that, we have the wrong notions. We are all dimly aware of the presence of Atman within us. We are all looking for freedom, peace, serenity, security of perfect union with Atman. We desperately look for that everywhere, everywhere, running around. But like the story of a musk deer in Himalayas, or sages say, musk deer is living. That beautiful deer, it is getting a nice fragrance, musk. Then it is looking for that. It runs around, runs around, and searching from where it is coming. Like that human being, what you are doing, John, <laughs> running around, running around. Jani, Jani, Japapani, Janmandra, Kritani, Ja. Anitani, Vinashandi, Pradachina, Pade, Pade, we say before doing Namaskar. Keep on running around, not knowing that nothing is outside. Your fragrance is within. It is hidden. That haunting fragrance is nowhere else. It is exuding from ourselves. This is what we have to learn. There are so many examples of this ignorance. See, even learned people, okay, uneducated people, uneducated people, okay, even educated, learned, what they are doing. All, whatever actions we are doing, only because of the ignorance. See, think of the hoarders. Why there are famines? See, when the goddess creation has taken place for everybody, that is why somebody said a great soul. Universe has provided for the need of every living being, but not for the greed of even one person. See, greed, greed here. All are hoarding. Food grains, other things, many things. For me, for my next generation, next generation after generation, without using it, without caring for others. Keep on. So all we are doing not because of, we don't know, but really we think selfishness. So all this root cause is your ignorance. Oh, no, no, no. All are, you are not different from me. Everyone, Vasudeva Kudambagam, this should be the goal. So that is why how it will happen, Acharya Sangatya. From society we can learn, but instead of that, that aham maham, if you keep on doing whatever, thinking that I am secured, no security, 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 in that we keep on accumulating possessions. One house, two house. So you buy a single bedroom house, then you start earning more. You want a two BHK, then three BHK, and you have enough of money, then you want to buy another villa. Somewhere else, separately, one more. So in Tamil, we say yes, a small house. But actually, the Chinnavid people make the biggest one. <laughs> small. So it's all happening because of our delusion. We think that, yes, these are all my security, my pleasure. These are all the end of life. Like that, we seek happiness through, through gratification, gratification, through every kind of vanity and self-delusion. And all these activities, we display an energy of heroic proportion. It is tragically a misdirected energy. That is a tragedy of the sin. This is all sin. What is sin? This is it. Whatever you do, which is against dharma, which is not good for others, but Whatever I do for myself should be good for others also. Sharing and caring. Otherwise, it is adharma. Or that is called sin. Nothing else is sin. So, with less effort, actually, we can easily have union with the Atman. 
had we not misled by our ignorance. This is what the modern masters talk about, love, least effort, like Deepak Chopra. We don't have to simply put in so much effort for that. It is really easy. The least effort, only respond to the situation. You see, understand, live consciously every moment. So Patanjali says, ignorance creates all other obstacles to enlightenment. They are the samskaras, imprints carried over tendencies, the powerful tendencies pull us down, which drive us to perform every recurring acts of sin or obstacles building. So the obstacles grow automatically one after the other through the power of desire, pride, rage, fear. Other masters, the golden lady, Swarna ma'am, talked the other day, I think, Arisha Dwarkas. Sir, all why? Because of the ignorance. Keep on accumulating and we suffer because of that. And yesterday, other master talked about vegetarianism. Practicing, practicing, practicing. That is tabas. Tabas means not going to forest and counting the beads and closing the eyes and sitting home, home. No. Everyday life. This is our playground. Play beautifully. This is the garden. Creation is already there. Enjoy here itself. But what is enjoyment? Really understand. Like that you see what happens then. Then the jnana comes. So Bhagavad Gita also talked about this. What happens if you don't change yourself, your inner? Let us see what Bhagavad Gita Krishna says in chapter 2, sloka 62, 63, 64. You can change the slide. Dhyayato Vishayan Pumsa Sangatve Shubhajayade. Yes. Sangat Sanjayade Kama Kama Krodho Vijayade. Krodhat Bhavadi Samoha Samoha Smridi Vibrahma Smridi Brahmsa Buddhinasho Buddhinasha Pranashyati. What he says to everyone, Bhagavad Gita is for everyone. The man dwelling on sense objects develops attachment for them. From that attachment springs up desire. So from desire, that is unfulfilled desires, comes anger. You know, we become angry when my needs are not met. We want that. No. So see, see we throw things in the office, in the house, shout, all happens. Starting from unfulfilled desire. Maybe smaller, maybe bigger. Smallest thing is sometimes sufficient to trigger that, triggering. Then you act unwisely like an animal, instinctively. Then from anger comes the infatuation. Infatuation leads to confusion of memory. So you lose all your memory. Your thinking mind becomes so mad. Then confusion of memory, confusion, confusion, confusion always. Then you lose loss of reason. You can change the next one, Bhagavad Gita itself. Loss of reason and from loss of reason, one goes to complete ruins. Buddhinashad pranashyati. This is what is happening. Now, what is the solution he himself gives in the next one? Krodat bhavati sammoha sammoha smriti vibhramaha smriti bhramshat buddhinasho buddhinasat pranasyati. Then the next 64, what he says? Yeah, it is there. Raga dvesha vimukta isto vishayan indriyesh charan atma vashir vidheyatma prasadam adhigachati. See, from Raga Dvesha, this is what we said earlier. What are the causes? What are all the reasons for, for our lack of growth, obstacles for our Atma Jnana? Raga Dvesha. Raga, Bhagavad Gita also talks. Same thing our uh, Patanjali Maharshi is also talking about. When is where we, we are free from all attachment, aversion, and able to control his senses through regulative principles of freedom, can obtain complete mercy of the Lord. This is what 
Bhagavad Gita says. So Patanjali says the same thing. What is the next one then? Let us go. First <clears throat> is ignorance, right? Then the second from avidya comes asmita. Asmita means what? Let us see the second klesha. Asmita means ahankara. Is everybody knows. Ahankara means egotism, egoism. We are all very, very familiar. We all say he is an egoist person. Everyone is like that. What is ego? Actually, it is only a label. The very meaning is only that. See, we think I am this, I am that, I am this. All those things. Labeling. And Dhridarshana Shatto Egatmadai Eva Asmitaha to identify Consciousness with that which merely reflects consciousness. This is egoism, definition for egoism. So we think, yes, this is Atman, this is Atman, whatever we do, that I, the small I, we think. So think of our ancient wisdom, what they talk about, not only Patanjali, not only Krishna, even before that. Kena Upanishad. Ask, at whose behest the mind is thinking? Who makes the tongue speak? Who is that effulgent being that directs the eye to form and see color? Who is this ear? How the ear is listening the sound? Who is the reason for that? Atman is the mind of all minds. Ear of the ear. Speech of the speeches. Eye of the eye. So really, once we understand, these are all only an instrument, upakarana, that's all. Behind this, what is really there, that is the reality, that is the true nature, that is the truth. So using Viveka, we have to come out of this egoism. Then the next comes Raga Dvesha. What is Raga and Dvesha? Patanjali says, Sukhanushayi Ragaha. Attachment is that which dwells upon pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. See here, we become slaves to the senses. We become addicted to anything. See, even to person, your friends or your neighbor or your subordinates or your boss or whatever, like that. You want to eating many things. We become slave. We become slave. So attachment, attachment, that is why attachment brings miseries. We dwell upon only the sense pressure, thinking that this is the highest. These are all life is about. That is, one is attachment and the other side is dvesha. Raga dvesha are twins, go together. Dukkhanushayi dvesha. That is aversion or repulsion, that which dwells upon pain. See, likes and dislikes here. See, people think, no, I don't like this, I don't like this. Like that, avoiding. So that I always have only pleasure, not the pain. Even simplest thing. See, think of buying gun, some vegetable. I don't like this. My grandson, my even daughter, everybody. Even my, I had also same thing like that. I don't like this. Suppose you are going with a friend. Few friends, you are going for a walk. You thought you will have a sip of coffee or tea. So one friend orders, I will order, he said, okay. Then he is asking everyone, what do you want, coffee or tea or milk or badam or whatever. So I used to say, whatever you are ordering, I'll take. How many of us can change into that? Instead, everyone, I want coffee, I want tea, I want milk, I want less sugar, I want more sugar. I am watching this every day, earlier days, before this pandemic. See how much conflict you want there. Can we not just enjoy this little bit, what will happen? Ultimately, the, the pressure is in the tongue for a while, but real pressure is the companionship, that Sangha, and just enjoy going inward. For a moment, when you sip that coffee or whatever it is, what happens? You forget everything. See, that is the point of real, real bliss. And this you have to only expand. That's all we have to understand. Whatever you do, it start enjoying doing that. 
but don't get stuck in that sense pleasures whether food or even sex or anything that's why yesterday the master was talking about mauna the beauty of mauna mauna means what some people observe mauna once a month once a week etc good but some people in that what do they do they don't talk but they do you become even anger talking to others like this action that is not mauna mauna is really doing nothing should be able to dwell within that is called real mauna sometime at least if needed only communicate we can practice that every day one day you see talk only minimum just really is it needed otherwise okay you can wish you can wish you can even if you want water go there ask or you can take <coughs> sorry like that you can practice mauna 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 so many things the likes and dislike we can change that is transformation attachment is also bad aversion is also bad i don't like i don't like i don't like like that you ultimately you find nothing you like even in pleasure you find see when you start eating your ice cream or a sweet or anything favorite what happens in the end you don't like that so understand that everything that is what we call as <clears throat> middle path everything yukta hita bhuk mita bhuk hita and mita practice art quantity and quality in everything it is not running away no everything what is the purpose of giving the senses understand that use it instead of abusing or misusing it and the most important nest clash or obstacles is what here comes abhinivesha what is abhinivesha clinging 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 to the bodily life you think i am immortal i have no death clinging to this afraid of death 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 cling the desire to cling to life is inherent in both ignorant and learned people whether you are highly qualified learned wise man you ask them are you afraid of death they may say outwardly no but you see here and in fact who are not educated some may not be few of them they may think it's okay when our time comes i have to die it's all right bhakti yoga practice those who know what is bhakti some people but in all but why this is happening bhaya bhaya what is the ultimate fear see we have security we think of security and we do so many things but what is the ultimate that can happen one day we have to die but that is to the body it is like changing the dress it has to happen there is no other way it has to happen once you are born punarabhi jananam punarabhi maranam punarabhi jadari janani jadare shayanam it is needed unless so but this is an opportunity here you don't have to reborn once you go for the dhyana marga yoga path enlightenment once enlightenment then at will like krishna or shankaracharya or ramanuja acharya only for the sake of other people to serve man you may be born otherwise you can stop rebirth it is possible so why this is happening is the fear is see we had the experience the impressions of that experience is already there we are born with that see incarnations so many births we are all aware it is there even christianity may not accept but many are accepting today it is there there are clear proofs that rebirth is inevitable it is happening so we are so many births we have taken even buddha 400 plus births or 300 plus says then only became buddha siddhartha became buddha like that so we had the experience of that from many previous incarnations that you say we are carrying over in our like a sim card using the old sim card it will be there it is coming so it is unavoidable so our goal is to manifest the divinity and attain that it is the journey we are subject to law of karma it is unavoidable but understand yes law of karma is operating instead of blaming situations and people the present state is continually being conditioned by our past karmas 
and continually producing future karmas. So past is one aspect, but future, as you sow, so you reap. You already put the seeds for that. It has to sprout. You cannot stop. It will happen. How can you stop it? If you have put the seed of jackfruit, jackfruit, jackfruit tree only will come today. And if you have done something wrong for that, cause and effect has to come. So for that, of course, there are ways to come out of that. Once we have to understand there is what you call as Sanchita Karma. Storeroom is there. So much karmas are kept there. But what comes today, you cannot avoid. That is what we call as Prarabdha Karma. Prarabdha Karma, what comes on our palate, we have to eat. But enjoy doing that. Once you understand with the wisdom, I cannot avoid this. I have to eat. So you take like a prasada. Yes. What Krishna says, prasada bhava. That's all. Whatever comes is prasada. Like that we should start taking. Instead of blaming whatever suffering we are having today. You blame your parents, your friends, your relations, your society, your politicians, your government, what not. We keep on blaming, blaming, blaming. Can we change any of this? No, it is because of our own. That is why, as Khalil Gibran said, your children are not your children. Same way you are not the parent. Same. The children came through you. That's all. You are just an upakarana, instrument, like a vessel only. Once you understand that, same thing, our parents. We came through them. We don't have to simply understand. It is not disobeying, but you don't have to follow everything. But they are teaching only what they know. So understand, respect them, but follow your inner soul guidance. So Prarabdha Karma, we have to just respond. Sanjita Karma, be ready. So once you have wisdom, yes, something will come. So be ready. Like, see, suppose you are living near a river, a big river. You know, floods come once in a blue moon. Sometimes, some years, flooded. But every year may not be there. Does it mean you can live there only? You should be. You may not know when it will come. So you can prevent that. Flood you cannot stop. But you have an option. You can exercise your choice. Free will. That's why Swami Vivekananda said, you can create your destiny. You can move out of that place. Or as a society, you can build a dam and divert that water where it will go, flow safely for crops, etc., who needs it, that can be done. Like that preparation, like that in life, we can prepare, ready to face the Sanchita Karma is going to come. For that, we need courage. So with courage and determination, we should not give up the struggle. Be ready, not avoiding, not aversion, but understanding what is what. <clears throat> so Patanjali beautifully says, how to overcome this? See, suppose a dirty cloth. No, you use a dirty cloth to wash. That what you do? First, you have to apply soap. Then, you have to wash away with clean water. Same way, our Kriya Yoga, Tava Swadhyaya Ishwara Pranithana, what you talk about. Soap represents practicing of Preliminary yoga. That is what Tabaswajaya Ishara Pranidhana, Kriya Yoga. And water represents the practice of meditation. Soap and water are both indispensable if cloth of the mind is to be properly cleansed. So cleanse your mind, my dear friends, by this. Having said this, I'm sure you are ready to plunge into beautiful meditation. So if you are not sitting comfortably, change your posture, go to a comfortable position <laughs> and gently closing the eyes. In the background, let the beautiful instrumental music be there, but don't focus on that. So last meditation session, we heard Nirvana Shadagam. I am sure all of you would have heard that at least in YouTube afterwards and understood the meaning. I am not this, I am not this, I am not this. Today, we will listen to another beautiful, both are by, composed by none other than Adi Shankaracharya. 
So we will listen to the Brahma Jnanavali today. We have posted it yesterday. I would have heard that today. Let I will chant that also. Listening to that beautifully. Go to the beautiful state of silence. Just becoming and being with just your breath. Nothing else to be done. So take a deep breath if you want. Wriggle your toes and move and keep your eyes gently closed, removing glasses, etc. <clears throat> Now, see what, there are many, many ways you can learn dharana, that is concentration. When Patanjali says, Vishoka va jyotishmati, concentration may also be obtained by fixing the mind upon inner light, which is beyond sorrow. You can play the music. And what Kaivalya Upanishad says, the supreme heaven shines in the lotus of the heart. Then Chandogya Upanishad says, within the city of Brahman, which is the body, there is the heart. And within the heart, there is a little house. This house has a shape of a lotus. And within it dwells that which is to be sought after, inquired about, and realized. Then Mundaka Upanishad says, ancient wisdom. Similar, within the lotus of the heart, he dwells where the nadis meet like the spokes of a wheel. Meditate upon him as Om, Om, Om. And you may easily cross the ocean of darkness. In the effulgent lotus of heart dwells Brahman, passionless and indivisible. He is pure. He is Light of all the lights, the noise of Brahman attains him. This method of meditation is helpful because it localizes our image of spiritual consciousness. Make it simpler. Focusing on light. There is also another method, says Patanchali. Vita Raga Vishayam Va Chittam, or by meditating on the heart of an illumined soul that is free from passion. Let your mind dwell on some holy personality, a Buddha, a Christ, a Ramana Maharshi. A Ramakrishna, a Shankaracharya, a Krishna, or Ramarajacharya. It is easier to localize, visualize them, your Guru. Then concentrate upon his heart. Try to imagine it. Must feel to be a great saint pure and uncontrolled by sense objects, a knower of Brahman. Try to feel that the saint's heart has become your heart. Within your own body, concentration even can be upon hands and the feet or the whole form of that symbol, the personality, holy. Yadha vimadadhyanadva 
you can potentially say so or fixing the mind upon any divine form or symbol like home or cross or butterfly swasti anything or picture that appeals to one as good you have the option freedom to choose but all important is our attitude toward it whatever we truly and purely worship we make it sacred i remember a small story ramakrishna paramahamsa talked about a disciple came to him and told him i am unable to focus on god guruji what can i do i love my buffalo he is my pet always whenever i sit for meditation the buffalo comes into my mind ram krishna paramahamsa just smiled and told him it's okay my dear boy go to your room just close your eyes think of your buffalo meditate upon that you may think it is fun no remember what is happening he sat there thinking of only buffalo for whole day the next day he did not come out so paramahamsa goes and knocks the door then the disciple says swami ji my horn is hitting the door i am unable to come out i can't come out so ramakrishna paramahamsa understood what has happened his dharana concentration has fructified he has become that this is the first step of meditation whatever object become that only one now you cannot become buffalo or a monkey and remain in that but same way now paramahamsa says to him right now you have learned the trick use the same trick now fix it on the god just think of only that in a form need not be formless in the beginning that is later with rupa just change only the symbol like that we can do that's why i said you want om in the previous session you can see you can feel you can charm be there like that you can and just be that's all meditation is about regular practice of dharana leads to dhyana and once you experience dhyana for a longer time that is defocusing nothingness from multiple thoughts to single thoughts then defocusing no thought only just be there and all disappearing expansiveness that is samadhi state you are aware of everything but you are not stuck anywhere no attachment just be just be just be there doing nothing in garland of knowledge of brahman brahma jnana vali mala beautifully created by sri adi shankara 
Asangoham, 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 Puna Punaha, Sachidananda Rupoham, Ahameva Hamavya. Unattached am I, unattached am I, ever free from attachment of any kind, I am the nature of existence, consciousness, bliss. I am the very self, indestructible and ever unchanging. Nitya Shuddha Vimukto Ham Nirakaro Hamavya Bhumananda Swarupo Ham Ahameva Hamavya Ham Eternal Ham Pure I am ever liberated. I am formless, indestructible and changeless. I am of the nature of infinite bliss. I am the very self. Nityoham Niravadyoham Nirakaro Hamachutaha Paramananda Rubo Ham Ahameva Hamavya I am eternal, I am free from blemish, I am formless. I am indestructible and changeless, nature of supreme bliss. I am the very self. Shuddha Chaitanya Rupoham Atma Ramu Hame Vacha Aganda Nanda Rupo Ham Ahame Vaham Yaya Ham Pure Consciousness. I revel in my own self. I am of the nature of indivisible peace. I am the very self. Pratya Chaitanya Rupoham Shantoham Prakrte Paraha Shashwadananda Rupoham Ahamevaham Avyaya I am the indwelling consciousness. I am calm. I am beyond Prakriti, Maya. 
I am of the nature of eternal bliss. I am the very self. ತತ್ವಾತೀದ ಪರಾತ್ಮಹಂ ಮಧ್ಯಾತೀದ ಪರ ಶಿವ ಮಾಯಾತೀದ ಪರಂಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮವ್ಯ I am the supreme self beyond all the categories such as prakriti mahat ahankara etc I am the supreme auspicious one beyond all those in the middle I am beyond maya I am supreme life I am the very self Nana roopa vyajito ham Sida karo ham ಚ್ಯುತಃ ಸುಗರುವಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮವ್ಯ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಹಾಲ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ I am never subject to decline. I am of the nature of bliss. I am the very self. ಕಾರ್ಯಹಾದಿ ಮಮ ನಾಸ್ತ್ಯಕಾಶೈಕೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮವ್ಯ nor it suffices such as the body for me i am of the same nature always i am self luminous i am the very self guna traya ಯೀತೋಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೀನಾಂ ಚ ಸಾಕ್ಷ್ಯಹಂ ಆನಂದನಂದೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮವ್ಯಯ I am beyond the three gunas, sattva, rajas and tamas. I am the witness of even Brahma and others. I am of the nature of infinite bliss. I am the very bliss. ಅ 
ಅಂತರ್ಜ್ಯೋದಿಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂಕೋಸ್ಮ್ಯಹಂ ಸರ್ವಸಾಕ್ಷಿಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮ್ಯಯ I am the inner light. I am immutable. I am all pervading. I am the witness sakshi in all. I am the very self. ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಪೋಹಂ ಅಚಲೋಹಂ ಸನಾತನ ಸರ್ವಸಾಕ್ಷಿಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮ್ಯಯ I am the inner light. I am immutable. I am all-pervading. I am the Tsachi. I am the very self. Dvandvadi Sachi Rupoham ಅಚಲೋಹಂ ಸನಾತನ ಸರ್ವಸಾಕ್ಷಿಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮ್ಯಯ ಐಮ್ ದಿ ವಿಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ಸ್ I am immovable. I am eternal. I am the witness of everything. I am the very self. Prajnana ghana yevaham ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಘನಯೇವರ್ತಹಂ ಅಭೋಕ್ತಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮ್ಯಯ my essence is awareness and consciousness i am not a doer nor an experiencer i am the very self ನಿರಾಧಾರಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂ ಸರ್ವಾಧಾರೋಹಮೇವ ಆಪ್ತಕಾಮಸ್ವರೂಪೋಹಂ ಅಹಮೇವಾಹಮ್ಯಯ I am without any support and I am the support of all. I have no desires to be fulfilled. 
um, the very cell. Tabatraya vinir muktaha Deha traya vilachanaha Avastha traya satyasmi Ahameva hamagyaya I am free from the three kinds of afflictions, those in the body, those from other beings, and those caused by higher powers. I am different from the gross, subtle and causal bodies. I am the witness of the three states of waking, dream and deep sleep. I am the very self. Dridrishyo do padartho staha paras paravilachano Drig Brahmadrishyam Mayeti Sarva Veda and the Dindima. There are two things which are different from each other. They are the seer and the seen. The seer is Brahman and the seen is Maya. This is what all Vedanta proclaims. Aham Sachi Dio Vidya Vivichevam Puna Punaha Sayeva Mukta Savitwan Iti Sarva Veda and the Dindi Maha. He who realizes after repeated contemplation that is a mere witness, he alone is liberated. He is the enlightened one. This is proclaimed by Vedanta Upanishad. Gada Kutya Digam Sarvam Mrittiga Matrame Vacha Tadwa Brahma Jagat Sarvam Iti Veda and the Maha The pot, the wall, etc. are nothing but clay. Likewise, the entire universe is nothing but Brahman. This is proclaimed by Vedanta. Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya Jeevo Brahmaivana Paraha Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya Jeevo Brahmaivana Paraha Anena Vedyam Satyam 
ஸ்
Master slowly, slowly become aware of your physical reality. Take your time. You may stretch your legs and the hands if you want. You may place your palms on your eyes. Whenever you are ready, at the count of five, you may open your eyes. One, two, three, slowly, slowly, and come back to here and now, to physical reality. Four, five, open your eyes, wide awake, alert, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling wonderful, feeling better than before, with a beautiful smile, with full conviction, I am that. As usual, anyone would like to share, ask any question, welcome. In between, power went off for me, <laughs> but did not disturb me at the right time. <laughs> as soon as I finished from Atmanavali, there was no power for 10 minutes. <laughs> so see how the universe, it did not affect either me or you. <laughs> Thank you, permission, sir. Thank you very much with the beautiful class. So, masters, if anyone wants to come forward and have a sharing, okay. Sri so, Lakshmi, madam, you are. Can you unmute yourself? Namaskar to everyone. Today's session is really soul appeasing and it's giving real solace to my soul. And I've started breaking my mom since yesterday <laughs> instead of keeping mom. <laughs> I have a uh, request. The background music, if the lyrics are given, I think it will be a blessing. And since yesterday, compassion is just pouring forth. I'm so thankful to our uh, beloved GK sir for founding such a such a, what I don't know what to say. It's a real spiritual world, I should say. And thank you, Ashok sir, for really guiding us so well, conducting so well. And Parmeshwaran sir, really, I feel indebted to you. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, thank you. This is a spiritual factory. <laughs> It's not only a real factor, it is so soothing, you know, you, you, it is soul touching, really it brings tears to my eyes. I was really longing for this and uh, really God has blessed us. Thank you are the giver and we are the givers. <laughs> I'm so thankful to the really universe and to Lord Krishna and our Jagat Guru Shankaracharya and GK Sartha, of course, he is on the top. Thank you so much. Supplications to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Lakshmi, ma'am. I really broke my mount from yesterday. Yesterday, really, it was such compassion arousing, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm so fortunate that I rejoined this ses these yeah. sessions. Like, thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Good, good. Wonderful. <laughs> Maybe I'll meet you one day. <laughs> I'll seek your blessings. No, welcome, welcome.
such spiritual essence you have really given away unconditionally i don't know what to say just to, you, just to take it unconditionally that's all <laughs> Masters, uh, uh, as we have talked about, because you don't need to uh, uh, stay in the sessions, uh, questions or anything. You can come with anything that you want to bring and to have a discussion and to have an answers for your questions. So please try to come forward and uh, just at least there are like so many people if you can bring one or two questions every single day then we can have a great new dimensions that we can actually see what kind of answers that is going to come maybe uh, when you are asking us the same question maybe it's a different answer that is going to come on a, on, a, on a different day so please try to ask come forward and ask a question so whether whether that is going to be permission or that is going to be Ravali madam or that is going to be whoever because anybody can answer the questions in this group so the question may be relevant for many people actually <laughs> someone asking many get the benefit this is how i learned from many satsang <laughs> thinking of some problem we go there Somebody else will ask similar question, you get the answer. This is how universe will make it, if you are open. Yeah, Ashish. Yes, so once again, a beautiful meditation, really feeling a lot of bliss. And uh, right now, uh, I'm inspired to ask this question because you made the announcement again. Um, so I want to just, just one short experience and one question. Now, yesterday, I, it was one of my someone uh, at my work level, he had called me. And normally, whenever he used to call me, I used to be in such a lot of hurry, giving short answers, not answering to him. But yesterday, he, he told me, to, today to you are in such a lot of ease and uh, you seem to have a lot of time. I said, yeah, now I have a lot of time. I have the same 24 hours, but I have a lot of time. And so I'm seeing that, uh, you know, now people have started seeing some difference in me. That's something that... Uh, uh, we just spoke about. So that is one experience. Yeah. Other quick experiences that, like, like, like ma'am, uh, Sri Lakshmi ma'am talked about, you know, a lot of compassion since yesterday. I'm feeling such a lot of love from within for everyone. So that's something I'm experiencing from within. Uh, third, and, and my question is, uh, see, I don't, I have been having this some kind of a fear when it comes to my work, you know, whenever uh, I always feel that, uh, oh, my, uh, you know, bosses, etc. are going to, you know, kind of ask me, okay, why have you worked so less and your results are not yet as per uh, uh, performance. So that fear is there. And I'm seeing that, like today also, when I, uh, when I sat, I said that, okay, I have to do the meditation and then quickly for next one, two hours, do my work so that, when I have the meeting, I'll be more confident that I have met their. I have that fear that I'm not meeting expectations. In short, yes, and that's something I'm dealing with. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what happens question. is, the what happens is, it happens in the beginning. Now, once you start meditating, that is karma yoga. First, understand, you are not the doer. You are not the doer. So here clearly we have to understand what it means. Put in all your efforts, whatever work you are doing, menial job or the executive job or whatever it is, even in the day-to-day -day household work or whatever, do with maximum attention, maximum awareness, with love. I'm just doing and think, first of all, now in an office, see, I used to say I was working in a bank. Many managers just obey some executive top people. I'm a rebel in that. I obey only if it is really good for the universe, for the entire organization, as also it is not affecting me against my principles. No. So my job is put in maximum effort, do what you can, dedication, yes. But don't surrender to the person. 
you are working for the organization even chairman of a bank is not the owner like that any company for that matter also so we are work need i am working and that work should become passion that's why even we say you know uh, if you don't uh, get the job you want start loving the work you got and the time will come when your passion will flourish simultaneously or separately also so like that whatever you do just do give your maximum effort focus on that at that time that's enough then forget whatever happens will happen say so whatever planning is happening like uh, the man on the moon we all know everything went on perfectly how many thousands of people so much time spent everything but there was a small hitch in the end happened who is the cause can you blame anybody then prime minister uh, came and uh, met them and congratulated everybody in the team you know like that so like that god will reward us for our good work enough don't worry about what other person whatever his position whether he is admiring me or not it's okay as long as you are not getting suffocated <laughs> once you get suffocated you have to throw you should have that courage as i did 25 years back so that's all do your job that is what you say the prasad buddhi result is not mine i surrender to the almighty the power that creator that's all with that you see then your attention will come down nothing to be afraid of yours what you have to get you will get that's all that confidence we should have whatever is the position what is meant see i my many friends became gm chief general manager and all that whereas chief manager level itself middle level i quit i had all the qualification and experience to become that there was a possibility but the divine plan was different i am sitting in front of you and talking about vedanta <laughs> i'm happy see my sole purpose that is so direction will come so don't get stuck with the work do your duty fine that's all don't be anything careful give your utmost work from the heart this is whatever work for common i am talking not only to mr ashish i am talking about this is from little experience i am telling today i am very free man <laughs> everything is happening like who retired as chief general manager executive director and chairman i am seeing them they cannot even eat three two three at least today <laughs> you became that only the label today where is that label i enjoy with my grandchildren my friends everybody i can eat anything today but i eat only what is needed not what i want <laughs> that's only different that's all so don't bother you are fine <laughs> okay don't think of the fear thing i am fine i am fine <laughs> that's all every day in every way i am getting better better and better say this mantra to yourself and om always every breath vibrate with om 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 you see what happens i am certain two weeks time you take already you have found uh, results now there will be a <laughs> quantum jump <laughs> shortly thank you <laughs> thank you thank you sir thank you very much yeah ramakrishna sir and namaste can you hear me yes sir uh parmeshwaran sir namaste uh, so my my question is see when i uh, when i sit sit and do the meditation right after uh, some time my neck falls down like you know basically i become like this okay and then uh, neck becomes heavy i am in the in the neck fallen state for some time still tolerating the pain but then the pain becomes so high that you know i i have to lift my head and then in that process i kind of a wake up and come out of the the meditative uh, mood okay and then i i mean uh, i don't know what is the right way of saying that but i i kind of a come to the beginning of the meditation where i am i am more awake okay then it takes uh, and i keep holding my neck back but it takes some time for me to get back to the same meditative state where i was uh, before my neck became heavy okay um any any suggestions to uh, uh, improve this situation yeah. it seems that he is uh, muted 
permission sir you are muted but anyway ram krishna yes sir little pranayama always before today has... okay permission sir you are on and off and ram krishna sir actually uh, um, that is quite normal and natural but if you are conscious and aware while you are actually doing meditation so uh, you can actually feel and you can bring it back and that happens you know uh, because uh, uh, if you are if, when you are going into the pure meditative state okay so for certain times actually you don't even uh, sense yourself yes because you don't even feel like because uh, when you guys are going to talk about whether i am sleeping or i am meditating so the, when you are aware then or conscious about your uh, every minute then you are actually going to know that you can hear and you can uh, see and it all depends upon how you are actually train, training yourself so that is not at all a problem so you can bring it back and you can change uh, the postures and all of that stuff mm mm-hmm. okay because even when you are uh, uh, in the cross leg position when your legs hurt Hello. you can actually can stretch yourself you don't need to worry about whether i can at even stretch or i do need to sit straight for uh, for all the 45 minutes no you don't need to okay it all depends upon how you are actually training yourself okay yeah can you hear Yeah, yes, if sir. we can yes, hear sir. you, yeah. sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some technical hitch. That's good. Practice that shall. Regular practice, it will change. But yeah. don't uh, struggle to maintain on that. Suppose yeah. if needed, you can straighten. Yeah. And you can use back support for sitting without uh, keeping the head on that. That's all. So practice like that. Every day. Okay. There will be okay. improvement. <laughs> okay, good. Thank That's you. Right. and don't think of the pain before sitting <laughs> you say as i said you know why as you think so you become <laughs> okay. that's all right okay. thank you good thank you yeah kiran sir all the best yeah, yeah. hello can you hear me <clears throat> yes i am a cancer patient and i have joined you 10 12 days ago though i have been meditating uh, throughout my life i'm 62 and i just would like to know what kind of mind state i should remain in so that i can go through this difficult phase of uh, taking treatment uh, easily like uh, fearlessly so what kind of mind state i should remain in or i should surrender though i have done that but still somewhere definitely i am fearful but i don't want to be so if you could please guide me what shall i do and then meditate so that even i meditate very calmly rather than you know sometimes even fear creeps in while meditating also so since you said that you can ask any kind of question permission sir can you unmute yeah i think i show you can connect her to you know spiritual tab that no, 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 yeah 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 uh, that's the best way uh, kiran ma'am i would say that uh, be grateful every day every moment of your life that you are enjoying right now i know there are a lot of thoughts that will come especially fear with respect to the body the treatment and uh, with respect to your loved ones around you so be grateful enjoy every moment and uh, forgiveness and gratitude is something which you need to implement because i don't know there might be some kind of resentment something deep inside you need to let go of it so please be in that state of forgiveness and gratitude and uh, enjoy every moment because you have this moment you don't know the cancer might even relapse or it might even go back we, have, we don't know something about the future but this moment you have it right So enjoy this moment 
and just enjoy whatever you can with your loved ones and everything that's how it is right great okay thank you and also kiran ma'am if you need any kind of a help that is what actually we do on the spiritual tablets uh we do help the people to understand what has been going on in their current state okay what exactly happened in the past and what needs to happen in the future so for that one then we will help you uh if you need help so there is a form that we have been posted in the group uh that you can register so we can uh, uh try to give you some one on one counseling sessions where they are going to guide you so how best you can understand about yourself about your illness and everything that is what is been going on in and around you so if you need any help we are please register if you, either you can go to the spiritualtablets.com no. you have uh, at the top call register so there also you can actually choose the english and then you can actually register there so we can go from there okay i'll do that thank you so much yeah thank you kiran ma'am lots are of you or if you can type your uh, number in the chat so definitely someone is going to help you out i'll do that thank yeah. you so much yeah sure and also ma'am you can call me or you can message me whenever you feel like talking absolutely no inhibitions you can connect me also do register and follow it up and whenever you feel like talking you can send me a message I'll be happy to connect. Thank, Thank you, Parameshwar sir. Thank you so much. It's a great help. Though I've been attending your meditations every day for the last twelve days, and uh, they are of great help. Yeah. They are of great help. To change, you are on the right path. <laughs> yes. Connected. Okay. All the best. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Manisha, Manisha ji, can you unmute yourself? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thanks for today's session. Uh, I want to say, uh, Kiran ma'am, a uh, spiritual tablet helps me a lot because I crossed this phase. I was suffering uh, the same problem from the 2018. Now, from the last one one and a half year. i'm connected with the spiritual tablet so definitely uh, you will get some solution and you will overcome out from this problem today uh, from the last 7 uh, to 8 months i didn't take any medicine now my doctor is very surprised and now there is no treatment in the world for my uh, problem so ma'am please come and take uh, benefit from this platform so very huge platform uh you can do me and now i can't accept my thing thank you thank you very much thank you so much thank you so much manisha ma'am you made our day thank you thank you sir this is the spirit <laughs> There's a question in the chat uh, by Jyoti Ma'am. It's asking, in what way does having soul knowledge help if someone is already peaceful and living an eth uh, ethical life? Having soul knowledge help if someone is already peaceful and living an ethical life. yeah permission so i wanted yeah so okay. i mean i didn't understand the question but i feel it will <laughs> you don't need any soul knowledge you're already in the purpose of life why do you need it <laughs> and you're happy once you are open to ideas you know when yeah, you are open your life things will start I, flowing yeah, that's yeah. enough you're already aligned so you don't need any soul So yeah, see, even the soul is in a very peaceful state and living in an ethical life. 
still maybe they might need something that for them to understand about uh, their purpose of life okay because there are a lot of people who we have seen that they are so calm and quiet and they are so uh, ethical but still they are searching for their purpose of life maybe they have not done that so uh, if they have not even re reached to that level if they're really looking into that side then that that will help a lot so for in, in my little understanding that what i have with the little wisdom that i gained from the soul science uh, from my other uh, master guru sir so this is what it is going to help when you are going to know about the, uh, the soul which is going to for deriving your purpose so jyoti ma'am you were asking the question <laughs> so many a times when I go to corporates and all, right? When I'm trying, so I see people are like really doing good, but then they say, "Why should I meditate?" You know, so then it's like, yeah. So I understand the life purpose question. I'm not as sure of the It just gives me some more pointers. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jyoti ma'am. So, here, yeah, Rajini ma'am. Anita Srinivasji. Anita, ma'am. Yeah, uh, sorry, sir. Uh, I got uh, muted. Yeah. Um, this is uh, in connection with the recent question. The soul knowledge is in the moon. One is living the peaceful life. So this uh, creates a mis It raises a query in me. Uh, we try to attain the spiritual knowledge. We try to evolve spiritually. Is it only to attain the peaceful life? Is it some? Is there something beyond it? I think uh, that is the um, the answer to that. Is going to uh, give us a more focus on uh, what we should do. Uh, whether we need to have the soul knowledge or we should go into the spiritual part or when. Uh, or do we need to do meditation when we are living a peaceful life? Do we need it? So can someone answer this? Yeah, Anita ma'am. So I think uh, coming to spirituality, I think spirituality is the foundation for our own existence, for the whole existence. For me, I mean, with my limited knowledge, what I'm telling is that because Sometimes if we, do, if we don't have the roots of spirituality in the context that aligning ourselves to this divine cosmic intelligence that is always at work and play, and we with our three-dimensional mind, we think that this is what we know. But uh, there's so much that we are uh, uh, at, uh, not knowing things that are happening around us. That spirituality, that connection with the source and that connection with that universal oneness consciousness, we bring that happiness. But once usually we find happiness in materialistic things and, you know, uh, with relationships and everything, but these don't sustain for a longer period of time. At one point or the other point, we collapse in our life when we lose these things because we associate our happiness with these things around us. So I think when you know that you are that basic knowledge and understanding that we are all knowing intelligence. We never die. The soul can never die. It's just taking different forms every time for knowing itself more in a different ways, in much much higher dimensional way, in multiple dimensional way. I think that knowledge will definitely help it because it keeps us centered and grounded. So I think for that, it's very important rather than happiness, success, or uh, that aspect, I would see this is something which holds us ground down with whatever things that come into our life. I think that's how I see spirituality in my life. That's why I was telling that big story, you know, Indra became big. So, like that. So, you think that big's life is all that is. So, that is what many people think, you know, whatever we have, it is sufficient. So, that itself is pleasure. Like, so, depends like that. So, once you come out of the ignorance, you know, avidya, and understand the ultimate purpose, having got 
Vijnana Maya Kosha, Buddhi Rishi Desha, Madhika Vishesha. So when we start applying, the routine happiness, etc., will be a byproduct. Once our higher goal is there, like sole purpose, what we talk about. With that, when we proceed, everything get aligned to that. So routine work will go on, whatever day-to-day -day life. So everything becomes fine. We are able to respond, whether pleasure or pain, both we are able to take it in its strides and we start enjoying. That's all. That is why middle path, middle path, what you are talking about, not giving away anything. But everything, yukta, that's all, the right amount. Then we start enjoying life itself. Even when you have serious problem, some health issues, okay, should not think of the problem. Ultimate purpose, yes, attain that, become Brahman, realize the true nature. With that, when you go, other things start happening, start enjoying. So there may be a lot of uh, testing situations will come in the way. So we will be ready to face such situations once you are into meditation, spiritual path. That's all. That's only difference with others and who are attending meditation. But it matters. I Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I also remember this yeah. sentence of GK, sir, where he says that um, I don't know how people will enjoy suffering when they are not into this path of the, without this knowledge or understanding. But when, once you understand the soul science or the correct spiritual science, you'll start enjoying suffering also. He said that. So I think that is something <laughs> which you can get to. Yeah. That's why we say yeah, really pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Yes, yes I'm <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I was just uh, thinking a little. Um, what happens is when we say, I am uh, happy, I am peaceful, I don't need any knowledge. That means we are limiting ourselves to me and myself. And when we are happy and peaceful, it is everybody's contribution. It is the universe is contributing, the society around is contributing, our family members, everybody is contributing towards our peaceful and happy life. So it becomes our duty to give it back to the nature, to society, and to the universe. So only when we attain the soul knowledge, we expand ourselves beyond uh, our own, uh, uh, that I, that only about me, myself, and my peace, my happiness. Only when we evolve ourselves with sp little spiritual knowledge, we try to think about somebody else that as I am peaceful, I am happy, then I will try to contribute to somebody's peace, somebody's happiness. So uh, this soul knowledge is needed for that. And that is what I felt. Yes, beautiful, very beautiful. You move from I-ness to universal consciousness. It's not, nothing is all about you, right? Yes. Yeah. That phase, that phase does come in life. How long we are going to be uh, happy with our own self and uh, be in the self limit. So we start searching for something more than that. Yes. It, it is a process, you know, for everyone we can't expect. Only I can take care of myself. That's all. So as I said in the class before, all impressions carried over is there. Our karma, otherwise we call as. So everyone is in different levels of our path. So what we do, yes. There will be, like in my own house, my wife doesn't do meditation or yoga or anything, but her health improves because that vibration around here or whatever it is, the universe is creating it. Like that, yes. So she is on her own path, I am on my own path, like North Pole and South Pole, I can say. But that is life, that's all. So allowed to happen without, uh, be grateful to all others, as you rightly said, that's all. Whatever happens, yes, universe is helping me in my growth, Whatever others are, whatever way they are living, it's okay. What I can do, let us keep on giving the positive way. That's the only thing. And let us meditate and wherever possible, contribute, contribute. So like that only, many drops make an ocean, you know. Universe changing, yes. Can you change the world? as yes, actually. <laughs> Simple, that's all. When my house is expanded, the country. Consciousness is expanded like that, then town, then country, then the globe. <laughs> like that, it happens. That's all. But each one is on their own journey according to our own uh, uh, past samskaras. So we can't force anybody, but our job, keep doing it. That's why, as Krishna says, <laughs> we have to be an example. That's enough. Others will ask, uh, Shish, uh, somebody was telling, you know, 
uh, they start observing us they start changing without our even telling it can happen but that we can do right thank you for sharing yeah. thank you sir uh, thank you very much permission sir and we already crossed the yeah and <laughs> 15 so that is the cut off time that what we have put it in so anyway uh, thank you very much let me close the session